Yo, I gotta ask you, what's the issue between you and Ben Simmons? He tried to get at your girl behind your back. Yeah, Ben is love. You know, but you know, I was watching uh watching Ray J interview the other day. He's talking about how all the, these NBA guys. Oh, you know, but you know, I think it's almost like every entertainer, man. These guys just want to fuck other people's women. I don't know. They look at it. My thing, um, it, it's a turn off to me. You know, if they even if they break up, I'm like, ah, you know, she was a bad bitch. But I'm like, ah, that's my homie's girl. I can't even fuck her after him. You know, but these guys look at all these rappers. They they beefing with each other because they're trying to fuck each other's woman. I never found that to be attractive or sexy. I'm like, there's so many other. Women out there, you know, and like Ben, I had lost all respect for him when he did that because he was my nick, you know. But then, like, I'm like, you know, I guess they figure out if she's this bad bitch would be with this ugly nick, I'm sure I can fuck her too. You know what I'm saying? I don't work like that. I got a 30 inch dick, my nick, and you're not going to follow my, you're not going to follow me. No diddy, pause. What the fuck? But um, it's, um, they don't understand what women, and yeah, there's some loyal women out there and there's some women out there that would just, you know, just do things. But my lady is one of those ladies like, all right, good luck, nigga, because she's going to snitch on you. And that's what she did. She snitched on his ass. So what exactly happened? Like, what did he do? Well, she he was like in her DM and then like, um, you know, but what he tried to use, because she's a real estate agent and he tried to use that as like trying to, like trying to buy a house and trying to, you know, and she, Use it like, you know, to make a commission, whatever, you know. And he was using that as a way to communicate with her, which I don't mind. I want I want her to make money, you know what I mean? But like that led to like him trying to be flirtatious and going trying to get at her. And then she's like, Ain't you Mike's friend? And then he's like, Oh, we not that we ain't that real them real. She said she, what she said. She said he said that I'm winning friends like that. Cause I'm pussy. Yeah, so I, I lost our respect for him. And I I light his ass up. And you know, the funny thing about it, since then, like nobody was, people would think twice about going in my girl's DM because they know when they come back to me, I'm going to embarrass them. Uh, you know, I don't care how much money you make. I make money too. You can make $50 million. I make $2 million. We could do, do, we could both do the same exact things. I might not, you know what I'm saying? We could both, you get a $50 million house in LA, I get I get a, a $2 million house in Houston is the same equivalent to a $50 million house in LA. I could live the same life you live. You know, that's a... And the end of the day, it ain't nothing you got on me. I'm not working for you. You, you cross me, I'm going to light your ass up. Period. I'm going to let the whole world know. So since then, nobody, nobody try to, you know, people be scared to say hi to my girl. <laughs> Man, look at the beef with beef with, with the beef with Quavo and Chris Brown. Ain't it, ain't it because of the girl? Like, no, you ain't so many bitches out there for y'all. Why y'all want this nigga? I, my thing, when, when my homie... When my homie has a girl, her girl automatically becomes my sister. That's how I look at it as, you know. And when they break up, you know, she ain't my sister no more. You know what I mean? But I mean, I'm, if I see I'll still speak, whatever, but like, you trying to go, and some women will do some shit like that because you, you know, they will try to fuck your friends. It, it could happen too, just to like hurt you. You know, anything is possible. You know, that's why you just got to, um, you just got to find a lawyer woman that will snitch and tell if any of the, any of the friends, you know, I, I have a lot of friends that like, you know, that would go in my, just try to be friendly with my girl. She'd be like, why is this nigga in my DM? And I'm like, who is it? Then I'll make a post about it. And then they, all of a sudden they'll feel guilty. Be like, hit me up. I'm like, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just checking up and see how she's doing. I'm like, nigga, it's so corny. But I mean, I don't be tripping. My thing, if you're tough enough, you're good enough to go get my girl, you have her. It's millions of women out there. Millions. Bunch. Go find one. Go. There's bad bitches everywhere. Why would you want something your man on? I don't even want to fuck nothing my homies. But all my homies are trifling. So why would I want to put my dick in something that this nigga been in? Yeah, that's real talking. You and Ben Simmons, y'all wasn't, you know, just cordial, right? Y'all was actually friends, right? Yeah, yes. You know, the thing I met, I met when he was a rookie, when he first got to my city. I remember he first got to my city. I was walking down South Street. He was in his sneaker store. And then I ran in there and then we started to talk. He was like, he like tell me a joke. I said, the Sixers, because it was suck at that time. Them niggas was losing in practice. It was terrible. You know, and then later on, we became good. And then we laughed about that joke, you know. And we hung out plenty of time. I would like fly out to like, 
you know, when they was playing, they'll be, they'll be playing Utah. I fly out to Utah to see a game. And, and then, you know, and like we all star, we hung out. We went to Eagles games together. You know, we, he will, we, we, this was my homie. He was, he, you know, but he tried to use pussy to make us like we was just like, we, we, you know what I mean? Associates, you know what I'm saying? So I lost respect for him. He laid his ass up. And like now, look what happened after that. He ain't play a, a he ain't, he ain't get a he ain't play a lick of basketball since that whole shit happened. Yeah, that's messed up, man. So y'all was really friends, and he was trying to get this your girl behind your back. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. It's a friend, and the thing about it, and, and I could see here's my thing. I could see if he didn't know it was my girl, but I introduced this nigga to my girl. Like I, that's when he was dating. It was in Miami. It was Super Bowl week. Miami played Sixers had played Miami, Miami. You know that Super Bowl week. Or that COVID week, right? And I remember going there to the game. And after the game, you know, I went to the locker room with them. They got the ass kicked by Miami that day. I'll never forget that. And then he was dating one of them Jenna girls at that time. She was at the game, you know what I mean? And because she even said something, because she because one time she was in LA and I was performing, and I I got and I got this Kim Kardashian joke and I lit Kim Kardashian up. And she reminded me about that day. She said, oh, yeah, I saw you perform, making fun of my sister. We was all there. She said she was at the show in L.A. when I was when I clowned Kim Kardashian. So, you know, and then that's when I introduced him to my girl. I remember that day in Miami. And um, so I could see if he didn't know. You know, if he didn't know that was my girl, you know, DM. But, if you, but I knew he knew because I introduced you to her. And then she reminded him, you know, because she was like, when she saw him, when she saw him another time, you know, she was like, Mike, I think he was in my DM. I'm like, ah, oh, you tripping. You know what I mean? He ain't, he ain't worm. And then he went and did it again. And that's why I knew, okay, this nigga's trying to do too much. 